Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. Earlier today on my main Instagram page, I asked the question, y'all, should I cook steamed mutton or curry mutton? And it's no surprise, curry mutton won. Now we know curry mutton, especially if you're from Long Island, is something that people absolutely, positively enjoy. It's a weekday thing, a weekend thing, and curry is one of them foods that is tastes better two and three days after you cook it. But it really is don't last two or three days because we scubbers. Bodine Pot is sponsored by Showman E Bistro, and by now you would have been seeing people pop in and out of the Showman E Bistro new restaurant. The patio is being set out and people are excited about the new and international food options that are going to be offered at this dynamic dining experience. I want you to follow the Showman E Bistro Instagram page for opening dates and times. Also follow their stories so you can experience all of the food and fun by the Showman team and all of the guests that have walked into the new restaurant and have appreciated the art and the vibes. Today we're gonna to be making curry mutton. Now, I have, you know, like a little question, right? I wanna know if I should do like the traditional curry mutton or if I should experiment with another spice blend that we have. We're gonna go curry these down. We're gonna add some potatoes, some carrots. We're gonna make it good. Let's get this recipe started. Okay, we're gonna add some oil. And as usual with me, we're going to add our potato. We're gonna fry the potatoes out and we're gonna lightly salt them. We're gonna add a teaspoon of this Shomani Bistro garlic right in there. And if you look, you would see around the edges are becoming translucent and the inside should be just a little bit bright. So we wanna get a crispy edge around our potatoes. Now, we're gonna take our onions We're gonna cook them out. Gonna add some whole allspice and toast them as well. And I decided I'm gonna use the yellow curry for the chicken. So today I'm gonna be using the Marrakesh Moroccan spice. Look at how pretty it is. So two tablespoons about. And don't mind this at the bottom of the pot. I just want y'all to take a look at my mutton, which I've pre-seasoned. So we ain't doing this from scratch. Let me tell y'all something now. If you are from a Bahamian home and your mommy used to bring home meat on the weekend and you was like me, you gotta sit home, you gotta clean, and then you gotta season the meat and then stick it in the freezer, you know some time management skills. So these done seasoned. This is our mutton. And I seasoned it with thyme, some garlic, and a few other things, some pepper. We're going to add this to our pot as well. We're gonna kinda let this fry out until, um, until the fat starts to render because it's gonna be a while for this to cook. All right, and look at that. I'm going to add some hot pepper flakes. So these are goat pepper flakes. We're making a very spicy mutton. This is a fresh bay leaf I got from Erin Green while at the farmer's market. Throw that in there. 
and I have my thyme. Now y'all know, throw what's left of this in here. See, all of it is being the bottom of the bag. Now I know somebody could be dead mad. I forgot to take my tomato puree out of the freezer, but I had some tomatoes that were getting ready to spoil and I said, not today. So I pureed them and this is about half a cup of it. Yes, it's gonna go in here. And we're just gonna allow this to melt. And we're going to cover this for a few minutes. And when we come back, we're gonna be ready to add a little bit of water to the pan. Now that our mutton has a little bit of color, I'm going to add half a cup of water to the pot. And this is going to serve the purpose of deglazing our pan. The sound that you're hearing is our mutton. It is simmering, it sounds so nice, and it smells even better. We're going to allow this to simmer on medium low for about 30 minutes. Then we're going to add our peppers, our carrots, and our garlic potatoes to it and allow it to simmer for another 30 minutes, at which time it's gonna be ready to serve. What I love about the recipes that I've learned and tried over the last year is that I don't have to use the traditional spices. I can make my own spice blends, or like Showman introduced us to, lots and lots and lots of the different spices that have been available through their meal kits. And you can have that experience at home when they open the restaurants, you can still order your buy your own meal kit or your build your own meal kit. And I still lobby in for that parsley oil that, you know, spices, I still lobby in for them to have them. So we'll see what happens when they open up. But 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Then we're gonna add this, this and this, and then we can let it simmer for another 30 minutes. We are almost there. Just a heads up, our curry is a lot darker because of the way that it was fried and also because all curry is not yellow. Now, we're gonna add our peppers, our carrots. Wow, my stomach just growled. And we're going to add those garlic potatoes that we made a bit earlier. We're gonna add another quarter cup of water. And now we're going to allow this to simmer for another 30 minutes. Now, if we take a look at this piece of mutton, you can see that there's still a little bit of fat on it but the fat itself is very, very soft. And so we're going to allow this to cook for another 30 minutes on medium um, to medium low, well, medium low or a little bit lower, and that's going to allow the fat to continue to render out. And this is what my curry is gonna be like, because I like my curry thick. If you don't want it this thick, you don't need to add the tomatoes. Um, you can add a little bit more water, but for me, I just really, really like my curry to be thick. In case you didn't know, I like my curry to be nice and thick, especially because I will serve rice with it, you know, for a few other people, but for me, I am on a very low carbohydrate diet, so for me, this curry could be its own one pot meal if I decide that's what I wanna do. And just like that, we have our delicious curry mutton using a Marrakesh mix of spices. Don't forget that curry is a very personal type of spice mix, so you choose one that you love. I wanna say thank you so much to Showman E Bistro for sponsoring this week's episode of Bodine Pot. Be sure to go to the Showman E Bistro Instagram page and watch their stories, plus their IGTV page or channel so that you know all of the things that are coming up with the Showman fam. 
And if you enjoyed today's recipe, don't forget to leave me a like on the video and then go down into the comment section and leave me a comment. That means so much to me for each and every one of you that tunes in every single Tuesday or you catch up with me on a Saturday afternoon. And don't forget, if you like it, you can also subscribe to my channel and share this video. And for those of you who find this very therapeutic, thank you so much for joining me and trusting me inside your kitchen to bring you food that you're going to love and enjoy. Now, I don't take up my plate for my friend, now it's time to take up the plate for me and the two of us can sit down and we eat before we go inside the pool. Don't forget, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot. Bye.